Hey guys, we're gonna harvest a bunch of stuff today. So why don't you come with me and we'll check it out. I'm starting off in zucchini because they've gotten overgrown and are just like crazy all over the place. I just kind of twist them around like this until they pop off so the stem doesn't come off. Then they last a little bit longer. We have a lot going on in here. I got a variety of different sizes that are all ready to be picked. There's so many I'm basically tripping over them at this point. <laughs> I had to use the big basket because it's going to fill up quickly. Growing zucchini is probably one of the easiest ones to grow. So if you're a beginner, I would totally start with this. It's really, really easy. Um, as long as you can keep the bugs away and you have good airflow, your zucchini are going to grow just fine. As you can tell, ours have overtaken their space, which they tend to do. And zucchini are one of those things, they start out pretty small like the size of this one over here. And then before you know it, they're as big as your arm. So you gotta do pick them like every single day. Otherwise they just get out of control huge. Vivian, get away from the garden. So this is what we got for zucchini just now. Whew. So we're getting about that every other day. So I'm gonna bring this up to the house and then we'll head back and check on the cucumbers. All right, we're heading on into the next greenhouse where we have our cucumbers and a variety of tomatoes. Well, one of the spots we have cucumbers and a variety of tomatoes. So I have pickling cucumbers in here and I got some English ones. These are the English ones. They get really nice and long. Those are good for snacking. The kids love those. And we got some regular ones. So many cucumbers going on in here. It really should have been after this yesterday, but that's okay. This year, it's really gone really well for um, cucumbers. Even though we've had a busy summer with minimal time in here, things have been growing phenomenally. Even our tomatoes have been growing really well, which are mainly on the other side. We do have some in the back planter box garden too. So I did plant so many of these. It is kind of a search, but oh my goodness, so many in here. You just move them aside and there's just a ton. It's like a forest of cucumbers. This by far has been our best cucumber harvest that we've had this year for sure, and probably compared to the last couple of years even. I mean, look at these. They're amazing. You can't ask for a better cucumber. And this is just the beginning of the season, so I am excited to see how many we get, and I'm excited to start making refrigerator pickles. They're some of my favorite things to eat, and honestly, one of my favorite things to do. They're super, super easy, and they taste delicious, especially if you get, get picking them and throwing them in right away. So this is just working out fabulous. And as you can see, I'm wearing my gloves again because of the prickles on these ones. This way then I don't have cuts all over my hand by the end of the day. Yeah, but as soon as I am done in a spot, I look back and oh my gosh, there's more. I thought I was going to have to run to the grocery store this week. I don't think I'm going to have to which is kind of the whole goal of gardening anyways, right? These ones I think I'm going to let get a little bit bigger, but there is so many in here. It is going to be a very busy week. Yeah, these are growing awesome. All right, let's take a look at these tomatoes over here. Looks like we got a few ripe ones. These are my early girl variety, so these ones should be reddening early, which they're doing great. 
and I have a ton of big boys that are growing really great. I'm excited to see um, when they start turning red. My cherry tomatoes, you have to get in here every day to get after them. They're just flourishing beautifully. See, now this one right here has got a little split in it, so we won't keep it. But that's a sign that it's got a little bit too much water. And we did get a downpour a day or two ago where it just came in, which was great for the rest of the garden, but for tomatoes, it's not necessarily the best thing. So what I do with the split tomatoes is I just feed them to the chickens. We don't want to waste anything around here. So they'll be excited to get a little treat. But these are going super, super well. I'm excited to take you back to the planter box garden where I have more tomatoes growing back there. So why don't we head over? All right, so now we're back in the planter box garden, which I have a variety of pretty much everything back here. So I am just going to start with these tomatoes here. Got some more early girls who are ready. And I bought this fun yellow variety. We've gotten a few. They're really, really delicious and just kind of a fun color. Fun fact about yellow tomatoes is the first tomatoes um, that people found were yellow and they were about the size of cherry tomatoes and they thought they were poisonous at first because they're part of the nightshade family, but they're clearly not poisonous. They're very delicious. And I'm gonna pick a couple of beets for dinner here too. We have some really nice sizable ones. I like to pick them when they're about this size. Then everyone can have their own beet and, beet, and they still taste delicious. So we'll get that going. This harvest is really, really great today. I wasn't expecting quite this much, but this is phenomenal. I think I'm gonna leave those little ones. This one's looking good, we'll pick this one too. This is a really good harvest for mid-July. I don't know if you've watched my other ones, but we have a lot going on back here. I actually already have, well, my radishes are kind of out of control huge but they're still really good. So we'll throw a couple of those in there. Usually I like to pick these when they're a little bit smaller than this, but kind of got away from me. They still taste good, as long as they're not split. And if you let the radishes grow up, they'll actually flower and it looks almost, um, when that flower gets pollinated, it looks almost like a um, snap pea. And inside is the seeds you can use to replant radishes for the next year. You can also eat it, it doesn't taste like a snap pea, but it is kind of like a refreshing little um, taste to it. It's kind of its un own unique little flavor because it looks like a snap pea, but it grows on the end of a radish and it doesn't taste like either. Which I'll probably let a few flower so then we can save some seeds for next year. And actually, it looks like some of my um, Carrots are doing pretty good. They're starting to shoulder, so they'll be ready to pick here shortly. I'm just gonna pick one and kind of test it and see where we're at. Yeah, they're doing great. This is way better than we've had in years past. Usually we get them to about here and they're more like a baby carrot, and these ones are still growing. You can tell by the root here. So these are gonna be really good this year. So these planter boxes and putting in the soil that we used has really made a huge difference, and everything's growing phenomenally. I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna get in here and look at these peas or beans. Oh yeah, we got some good beans here. So many beans. Nothing better than the first couple of green beans from the garden of the year to really make all your hard work feel like it paid off. Cause you know, you plant and you plant and you water and you water and you just wait and then it's like the best ever when you get that First big harvest in. Gives you that encouragement to keep going here. And we also have one random rogue tomato plant here. So that's kind of funny from a tomato seed that fell last year and it's just kind of doing its own thing. Looks like it's flowering, but I don't see any tomatoes yet. So it'll be interesting to see what variety of mystery tomato that ends up being. But I'll move on from the beans because I could probably spend another 20 minutes going through there and picking and that would probably bore the heck out of you. So we can go right back here and check on my pepper situation. 
I mean, look at this. I got two, three baskets fulls already. And I hardly did any work. So we have a bunch of beans growing in here too. These ones were planted a little bit later, but they're, you can see the little baby beans on there already. I don't know if I'm blocking it here, but look at all these. This is gonna work out great. These planter boxes was an excellent idea. But come follow me in here and we'll check out the pepper situation. Looks like on both sides, we're doing really good in here. I got a few orange ones ready to pick. So these are the sweet pepper variety. These ones don't get super big, so this is about the size to pick them. I just kind of twist them off here. This one's gonna be a little difficult, but look at that, it's already orange. That's gonna be good. That looks really good. And we got this one over here, which is starting to turn orange. So I'm going to leave that till we get that green off there. As soon as that green's gone, then I'll pick that. And it'll be a little bit sweeter. You can eat them when they're green, but I prefer to eat them when they have color. The more color they have, the juicier and sweeter they're going to be. This one looks like it's doing pretty good too. So we're going to twist this off. Perfect. So we got a couple of those already. They're doing really good. Looks like I have a few little blueberries on our newest edition. They're pretty teeny, but it's their first year. But I am going to pick them. Because why not? Super teeny. No reason to save them for anyone else. Oh, these are really good. These are really, really sweet. Usually they're kind of tart when they're that little. These ones are good. Just don't tell everyone I ate it and didn't share. Not very nice of me. And it looks like the kids went through and picked all my black raspberries today. My jalapenos are doing good. Not quite ready to pick. They're still pretty teeny. So they should get about double that size before they're ready to pick. But they're growing really well. Looks like we have little buds everywhere on this one. So that's super awesome. So this is our haul today. As you can see, we did really, really well. I mean, look at all these cucumbers variety of sizes and styles. They're looking really good. I'm so excited about those. And the tomatoes, we got a few different color and sizes in those too. And our first peppers of the year, very exciting. Our beans are doing awesome. And so many beets. I think we're gonna eat these all for dinner tonight and a ton of zucchini. I'm gonna have to really get going on zucchini bread and pasta salad. But today's haul was awesome. I'm, Vivian, get out of there. I am super excited to see what the rest of summer brings and what next week and the week after with all this harvest. It, this is a ton of food and I forgot to even check the potatoes. So I just made a bunch of videos on our experience growing all these vegetables. Vivian, seriously? So if you wanna check out that playlist, check them out over here. Vivian, now you just ruined that zucchini.